Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Tutorial with Sayed. In this episode we will see how to freeze multiple rows in Excel. We will also focus on the topics such as how to freeze multiple rows and columns in Excel, how to freeze multiple columns in Excel and some other freezing topics. So let us start. Before I begin, I request you to download a working copy of this workbook by clicking on the link in the video description. There are two sheets on this workbook. The first one is set 1 and the second is set 2. Let us start in the set 1. I have a lot of data in this workbook. Now, if I scroll down, look what happens. I am losing the track of the headers of my data. So it is really difficult for me to identify what is this data in this column or in this column. To find out, I can quickly scroll up and take a look. It is okay if I'm working with a small set of data. Imagine if you're working with a very large data, scrolling up and down can be painful and sometimes time consuming. To avoid that, we can use freeze panes. Let me show you how it works. First, I will show you how to freeze the top row in Excel. By keeping my top row in my view, I will go into the view tab and here I will click on freeze top row. This will freeze the top row of my Excel. Now if I scroll down, my top row is completely frozen. So now I am able to see what is my header if I am scrolling down. Now. To restore my regular standard scrolling, I can click on unfreeze panes. Now, if I want to freeze the first column, say I'm just trying to keep my first column in my view as I scroll towards the right, so that I can keep a track of what region I am looking at. To do that, under the same view tab, I can click on freeze first column. That will freeze my first column in my view. Now if I scroll, you can see my first column is completely frozen. So this is how we freeze the first column in Excel. Now let us take a look at the third point that is how to freeze the first column and top row in Excel. Imagine I want to keep my header in my view while having my first column frozen so that I can also keep a look at my regions information. To do that, First, I will unfreeze my columns. Now, I will place my selection in cell B2. After placing my selection in cell B2, I will click on freeze panes. What this does is, it will freeze everything on the top of my selection and on the left hand side. In this case, it is going to freeze the first row because I am on the second row and it is going to freeze the first column that is column A. Let me click on freeze. You can see my first row is frozen and my first column is frozen. So this is how I was able to freeze the first column and top row in Excel. Now let me show you how to freeze multiple columns in Excel. To do that I will go into set 02. Here what I want to do is I want to freeze my column A and column B, multiple columns. To do that I will place my selection in cell C1. Because what I want Excel to do is freeze everything on the left side of my selected cell. Now placing my selection in cell C1, I will go into the view tab, then click on freeze panes. This will freeze my left two columns from my selection point. You can see my first two columns are now completely frozen. This is how I was able to freeze multiple columns. Now let me show you how to freeze multiple rows in Excel. Before I do that, let me unfreeze my panes. Now when I click on freeze top row, what happens is in my view, only the top row is selected and frozen. But I have my headers in the second row. To keep my headers in my view, I will have to freeze multiple rows. I will first unfreeze my selection. Now I will place my selection in cell A2 and then click on freeze panes. By doing that, I'm asking Excel to freeze all the rows on the top of my selection. This will now freeze row one and row two. So this is how we freeze multiple rows in Excel. Now, let me show you how to freeze multiple rows and multiple columns in Excel. 
imagine i want to freeze the top two rows and the first two columns how do i do that let me first unfreeze my selection to freeze my top two rows i will place my selection in the third row and to freeze my first two columns i will place my selection in the third column so third row is this and third column is this so that is c3 that's the place i need to put my selection while having my c3 selected i will click on freeze panes this will freeze my first two columns and top two rows see that so this is how we freeze multiple rows and columns in excel i hope you find this useful i request you to practice try different combinations try different things with your data use this workbook data to practice practice as much as you can the more you practice the more you will retain in the next episode we will see more dimensions of excel if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications thank you so much have a very lovely day see you soon